Welcome to Market Mornings brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com and this update is for Tuesday the 4th of April 2023. Uh, my name is Robert Roy. Let's go ahead and get started today. So keep in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like what you see make sure that you consider that that candidate fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance before ever taking on that trade. Guys, as you go through, make sure you subscribe uh, and like what you do see here, uh, you know, with YouTube and the other social platforms you're watching this on. And, and go over to tradinglikeaboss.com. Do not miss out on all of the free resources that we have at Wealth Builders. They're all housed on that site. Okay, with that, what do we have for economic reports today? Uh, only one, Jolt's jobs opening report, big report, big report that the Fed looks at. Uh, Jamie Dimon's uh, letter to shareholders today. Jolt's report, interesting stuff coming out uh, this week. All right, from there, <clears throat> let's look at futures. Everything is up to the upside for the most part. Uh, the ES is up 12 and a half. The Dow is up 40, NASDAQ's up 57, RUT's up six. Bitcoin, 28.5, it's up 235 points. Uh, Dogecoin making a killing today, huh? If you guys saw that, uh, from like seven cents to nine or something. Uh, Ethereum, is up 49 points to 1880. Gold down a little bit, three bucks, 1997, just shy of that 2K. And then crude is up another 70 cents for over $80 yet again. Uh, from here, let's go ahead and jump into our candidates uh, for the day. So the first thing I want to look at is the S&P 500. And I want you to take note that we have kind of moved into this sideways pattern right so far now we do have a higher low we want to see do we make a higher high which gives us more of that trend than it does that channel effect so yesterday's close another strong day yesterday uh, we we're up 15 points we've got 4094 as our downside target 4181 is our upside target i am looking for clear and concise entries only today i am not interested in taking the trade all right, CHTAR, they got a downgrade. They are the only one that is on our list today that is down. Uh, down they're down $2 uh, and a penny, so at 354 quarter. So they were in a neutral bias already yesterday. They got into the 357 on close yesterday, and we're, we're still above even our uh, 21 moving average, the closest moving average there. We're still above that. So uh, 354. We could look at a bear call spread above 357, but I would do it aggressive, which is not crazy about the pattern on this one. Chevron, you know, yesterday I talked about Oxy, today Chevron gets an upgrade. Not surprising to see. Uh, they were up nice yesterday, they're up another dollar today. It puts them at 171. So we're gonna look at a bull put spread below 169, which is this fib line right here. Etsy, uh, they got an upgrade on Etsy. They're up $3.44 to $111.69. So they were in a bearish bias yesterday. They got into a neutral bias with this announcement. So we're gonna look at a bull put spread below 108, which takes us down below that 618. Now, I want you to do something now, right now. Right now, got uh, upgraded. They are up for uh, 550 to 470 even. So let's see, 51 to 78, 51, 61, 71, 27 points. So we need to split that level in half. All right. So we've got to do it manually. I don't keep a loaded fibbit for this one. So we're going to look at, we're at 70 right now. We're going to look at a bull put spread below 464. Which takes us to the 462 and a half. NSC. Uh, they got an upgrade from Morgan Stanley. Now they were in an overall bearish pattern. Uh, their bias was do, 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 neutral, bearish you know, move uh, with a neutral bias as of yesterday's close. And they're up $5 today to 142 and a half. Oh, uh, what I got? I'm on the wrong symbol. Sorry, let's see. They're up. Well, they are up, which I'm, I was writing on. They're up $2.14 to 211 I was on our last candidate already. I skipped one. So right one on the screen, wrong one I'm looking at the option chain. So with this Morgan upgrade to 211 
just barely gets them above that 210.39 level. Um, what I would need to have happen here is I need the stock first to move up. Um, so I need the stock at about 112, uh, not 112, uh, 212. And then a pullback, right? And that's towards that 210.39. Then a bull put spread below 210. So I needed to move higher, retest, bounce, and then I'll look and consider it. SRPT, last one of the day. They're up $5. They had initiated coverage uh, by Citigroup. They're starting to look at them now. They already were in a bullish bias. Now they're up to 142.5. They're right at resistance. We're going to look at a bull put spread below 136. All right, there you have it, everybody. Listen, Brandon's got another class coming up this week on the top three strategies. Brandon Wendell, an amazing trader. Uh, he is a CMT. If you're not familiar with what that is, he basically has a PhD in technical analysis, um, officially documented, right, certification, all of that good stuff. So go ahead and check that out, and you go over to tradinglikeaboss.com. You're there. Um, Trading Coaches Playbook will not be on this Friday because the market's closed. There will be no update here either. Uh, we literally are shut down, right? So there you have it, everybody. Make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you just one trade away. All right, take care, folks. I will see you at our next update. Bye for now.